They're guessing, aren't they, surely? This is another one, this is my favourite. This is in the Telegraph. Britain's most prolific TV extra. 2,000 roles, still works in Tesco's. That's what the Telegraph said. It was in the Mail on the same day, Mail Online. Britain's most prolific TV extra is Tesco Worker 40. Appeared in a staggering 2,000 shows and so on. This one's interesting to me, because you can trace the origins of the story back. It goes back to a local paper the day before. It was in the West Midlands paper called The Express and Star, and it's a good story for them because he's, he's local to them and it's a local paper. And he's not, in their version of the story, the most prolific extra in Britain, because I don't think he is the most prolific extra in Britain. In their version, it's just a nice story about a local guy who's done well. He works in a local supermarket. They get to show nice photos on their website of him in costume, on set, and so on. It's a nice story for them, and that's the real clue as to why it's in the paper. He's written a book. Now, local man writes book about weird showbiz life is a nice story for the local papers. But it doesn't really work for the nationals to say, man you've never heard of from Birmingham has written book, so they've got to do something else with it. And I think they've read those stories and gone, how many? Has anyone done more? Don't know. That'll do. We'll put that in. And they've just made it up. And I can really prove to you that he's not Britain's most prolific extra. Because, ladies and gentlemen, John Walker is here tonight. Oh, yeah. And you didn't notice, which just goes to show you how good he is at being an extra, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> If you'd have noticed him, he'd have been terrible at his job. He's just down there on the third row. How are you this evening, John? Yeah, good, thanks, Dave. OK, let me ask you a very simple question. The Mail and The Telegraph have both declared you Britain's most prolific extra. Are you, John Walker, Britain's most prolific extra? No. <laughs> Did they just make that shit up? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, in the local paper, they plugged your book. Did the Nationals plug your book for no, you? No, nobody mentioned it at all. Would you rather have had a book plug than be declared a weird title that you're not? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. OK. Everyone who reads The Telegraph and the Mail, if you're watching this, you now are literally obliged to buy his book. <laughs> And that's at least 12 copies I've just sold for thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, John Walker, thank you very much indeed. Lovely, look at that. You make things up. You make it up. Now, there is something else about the way they covered John's story in the mail that I really, really enjoy. Uh, it's the headline, it's the phrase, they, they use this phrase. He's appeared in a staggering 2,000 shows from Doctor Who to the Bill. <laughs> it's the idea that there is some kind of range that we all understand. <laughs> that starts with Doctor Who and ends with the bill. Because <laughs> I suspect, no offence, John, I suspect that what they really mean is he's appeared in a staggering 2,000 shows and we've heard of two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what it really means, I don't know. I love this, this phrase is abused all the time. I've probably abused it in print myself at some point. It's a lovely thing, the from and to.